OpenAI API models have become cheaper and also bigger. And in this video, we're going to break down the details of what are the new models that have got bigger and what is the cost that has got cheaper. To start with, let us discuss about the new models or the bigger models. First thing is, if you have got the GPT-4 access, or if I should say, if you're one of those blessed GPT-4 users who have got the API access, then you've got a new model that's called GPT-40613. It includes an updated and improved model function calling. Function calling is something that we have seen in a different video, which I'll link it in the YouTube description. Next, you have got the 32K context window. So 32,000 tokens supported by GPT-4 that also includes the new improvements that are available in this 0613 model. And other than this, this is the most exciting news, I think, which is they're going to invite, OpenAI is going to invite a lot more users to the waiting list of GPT-4 in the over next coming weeks with the intent to remove the waiting list entirely for this model, which means a lot of people like me who are still on the waiting list of GPT-4 might finally get to try GPT-4 through API soon. That's a really exciting news. If you look at GPT 3.5 Turbo, one of the cheapest, one of the cheapest text generation model from OpenAI, which is also something that has been powering ChatGPT for quite a while. It's a really, really good model. You do not need GPT 4 of lot, 4 for a lot of tasks. This is a really good model. That model has also got the 0613 update. It's the GPT 3.5 Turbo 0613 update. It has got the function calling same like GPT 4 and also more steerability via system message. For example, if you want the API to, or the chat GPT to be, let's say friendly, humorous, romantic, whatever that is, it has got more reliable steerability via system message. And it has also uh, got the features that will help or allow developers to guide the model responses more effectively. Now, there is a very new interesting aspect here is, Previously, OpenAI had the 4K model and the 32K model, and you also had the 8K in the middle. So now what you have got is, you have got a 16K context window model, and there is no waiting list. You can directly access this if you have got OpenAI API access. So GPT 3.5 Turbo, 16K. So the 8K was only on the chat GPT interface, not, not through API. So the GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K offers four times, of course, four into four is 16, four times more context length of GPT 3.5 Turbo at twice the price. So what is the price now? The price is $3 per 1 million input token, $4 per 1 million output token. So now instead of having one unified pricing, they've got two price. One is the input token, uh, the second one is the output token. Input token is what you send as a message to the chat GPT. Output token is what it outputs you back. So the input token charges $3, 3 US dollar per 1 million input token. And the output cost is $4 per 4 million output tokens. That's like, that's really good rate. And the 16K context window means the model can support up to approximately 20 pages of text in a single request. Imagine you have got a product documentation that's like 15 to 20 page. Now you can feed that entire 16 to 20 K, 16 to 20 pages of product documentation and ask a question. This is going to open up a huge amount of opportunities for developers. And this is what I meant at the start of the video that OpenAI API or ChatGPT models have in fact become bigger because we have got 16K context window and it has got cheaper. Now, what is the cheaper part? Before we get into the embedding, the GPT 3.5 Turbo, the text generation, one of the most popular chat model that also powers chat GPT, they, the rate of it has been reduced by 25%. The input token rate has been reduced by 25%. So which means now you have to pay $1.5 per 1 million input token and $2 per 
per 1 million output tokens. So if you are going to send 1 million input tokens, you have to pay $1.5. And if you are going to get 1 million output token, then you're going to pay $2. This is extremely competitive price, which according to them, which equates to 700 pages per dollar. So for $1, you get approximately 700 pages of output information. So this is absolutely brilliant and quite amazing. And the GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K will be priced at $3, $3 per 1 million input tokens and $4 per 1 million output token, which is something that we just discussed. So overall, to quickly summarize, the there are new updated models, one. Second, there is the cost element. So the first one is we have got more updated models. Second, we have got the 16K context version of the GPT 3.5 Turbo versus the 4000 context window. So now we have got four times bigger context version and we have got 25% cost reduction in the input tokens of GPT 3.5 Turbo. And also we have got some cost reduction in the output tokens. Another very important aspect is the embedding model. Not a lot of people talk about it often, but the embedding model is quite important if you are trying to build embeddings and that has got dead cheap, like literally dead cheap. The text embedding ADA 0002002 000 is one of the most popular embeddings model that are available on the planet. And the cost is being reduced by 75%. I mean, it's almost as if like OpenAI is playing with people's mind where sometimes when people think that, oh, maybe you know what the input tokens price has come down. Let me send everything inside input token. At the same time, they reduce the embedding rates so that you will actually build an embedding, which is much, much more efficient for a lot of use cases. For example, you want to have a discovery, a podcast semantic discovery, then this is exactly what you need to do. And that is 75% cheaper. Like it's one cent. It's one cent for 1 million tokens. This is absolutely brilliant. It's one cent or 10 cent. Yeah, it's probably 10 cent. Yeah, it's 10 cent. It's 10 cent for 1 million tokens. It's absolutely brilliant what it can offer. Any semantic search use case, like you want to build a recommendation system, you want to build even a classifier, you want to build a semantic search application. This text embedding ADA 0002 model has got a 75% rate cut and it's at a very competitive price. Overall, this seems like an amazing improvement in terms of what OpenAI is offering. And that's what this final line says. Developer feedback is the cornerstone of our platform's evolution. And we will continue to make improvements based on suggestions we hear. We're excited to see how developers use their latest models and new features in their application. This truly sounds like they care about developers but also it seems like they want to have really competitive price and they want to crush the competition. Overall, it's good if you're a developer, it's good if you're a hobbyist, you don't have to spend a lot of money, but you get bigger, more powerful, more controllable, more steerable models at cheaper input token price, while the embedding model has got like 75% cheaper. This is quite amazing. Let me know in the comment section what you feel about it, but I'm really looking forward to try out the 16K model very soon in the upcoming videos. See you next video. Happy prompting.